Welcome to the Rocket Roof Show, where we equip fellow roofers to do more commercial business every first and third Thursday of the month. It's time to launch your business to the next level. This is Project Command. Stand by our power transfer. Three, two, one. Blast off! Hello, everyone. I'll be taking place as the host today, Jonathan Keim, interviewing Andrew Neer, who's in the Florida Keys. Uh, we're kind of doing an impromptu on the day of the airing. Uh, so, Andy, how's it going down there? Pretty good. <laughs> I had to get out here in the balcony where I could find some peace and quiet, but uh, you can see I'm squinting. The sun's pretty intense down here, so uh, not used to it, but uh, I'll manage. Yeah, it's definitely different than all the, the cloudiness in Michigan. Yep, so yep. I thought it would be probably good, you know, there was so much uncertainty surrounding this week and it might be good just to talk about that and how that can uh, stop us from enjoying life or you know, growing our businesses or reaching a higher level in some other area. So what are your thoughts on that? Exactly. I mean, um, we, uh, I gave this uh, trip to my wife for Christmas to come down to, to Key Largo for a couple of weeks and, um, um, you know, and, and really the, the amount of certainty back then wasn't a big deal. I didn't really think about it too much. But as, uh, as we get close to the inauguration and listening to all the buzz around what was going to happen, the conspiracy theories, um, the uprise, you know, the, uh, the going to uh, um, uh, martial law, all these things you're hearing. Um, I can't say that I was a little bit concerned about our trip. A couple times we were considering, you know, do we do we ask for a refund? Do we cancel? Do we postpone? But um, you know, at the end of the day, we've got to continue to live our life, right? And it doesn't mean that we don't um, have concern about where we're going and for our family and our lives and our business. But um, we had to make a decision that you know we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of research. But at the end of the day, we can't listen to all the buzz and and some of the the hype that's going on that we hear especially if we're, we have any kind of connection to social media. Um, even people that we're close to can have some crazy ideas about what's going on that aren't even, isn't even true information. And so we got to be careful we don't buy into all that stuff. And so um, even some people that I, I know really well, um, and, and I want to discount their fears and their, their concern, but um, at the end of the day, you know, we've had, we've lived through several different administrations um, and we've had our business through several, several different administrations. And uh, we survived through all of them. And, you know, we had to change up a couple of our tactics here and there as far as marketing and, and doing business. But uh, really, it's more important about you focusing on what you're doing in your business and uh, the strategies that you're using there. And, uh, and, and so that's, that's where I'm at. Um, uncertainty, yes. But uh, just running a business is full of uncertainty anyways. That's a good point. Yeah, it's definitely not something you can get away from. And, you know, we've done a lot of things to adapt, you know, since the pandemic, uh, like right now we're in our studio, uh, maybe one of these days we can do a show about the green screen and uh, some of the various special effects that we do, uh, transitions and such, because I really think that, you know, going forward, we're going to have to have a different mindset in how we you know, approach our business, how we get the sale, uh, regardless of what happens next. And of course, um, you know, there are those that were so excited for 2021, you know, yippee, 2020 is over, uh, but we're already seeing that, um, you know, the craziness is going to continue, but we just have to remain solid. Uh, did you have any other thoughts? We thought we'd probably keep this episode on, on the shorter side so you can enjoy yeah. your vacation. You mentioned the word mindset, and I think there's a lot of people that, the ones that have changed their mindset and they've had a successful and they can look back and say, you know, it's about mindset. It's easy for us to say that uh, because we kind of understand it, but if you're on the other side where you're just beginning and, or maybe you you haven't felt like you've reached that point of success or change yet. Um, mindset can be this, this buzzword that you're like, yeah, I, I know what it means, but you, you, you don't really know. And you it's, it can just be a, you know, a, a word that people throw around, but um, you, you can't really just depend on your business on who's, who's in office, right? Whether it's in state office, uh, national, you know, in the national presidency or your governor, um, it has a little bearing on the business that you do, but at the end of the day, it's, it's your job as a business person to navigate those waters and to make decisions and, um, and win. And so um, if you're, if, if you are a business owner, you're, you know, you're the, 
you're the captain of your ship, right? So people are going to follow in your organization the way you the way you are. If you're full of fear and conspiracy and and uh, worrying about the next thing, you're going to have a whole boatload of people in your organization that are thinking the same way and uh, seeing your uncertainty. So make sure that you're 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 trudging forward with certainty and making sound decisions um, and not basing. Um, everything that, uh, you know, hey, I can run a good business with uh, a certain administration and it's going to be difficult in another administration. You got to get that out of your mind. It's all up to you and your mindset. And um, if you have a positive mindset and you're placing, well, hey, I just have a, a new uh, strategy that I got to put in place here. Go after that strategy. And um, I, I noticed the biggest times in my life when I've seen the biggest amount of growth and success was when I shortly after I had a mindset, a change. And uh, I remember one particular one was, uh, you know, growing my margins by bidding higher and, and putting my prices higher. And uh, for a long time, I had a mindset that if my prices were higher, I would lose customers. I would be able to land as many jobs. But um, I had a coach of mine that for two years, he worked on trying to convince me to change that mindset. And, and when I did, um, you know, I had different results than what I thought I would get. So uh, mindset is key. And uh, if you don't believe in it, may, maybe read some books or do some research on the, the um the importance of having a good mindset. And I think that's everything going into 2021 is where your mind is right now. What, what is your mindset? Um, because if it's in worry and concern and, and uh, it's going to be a bad year, I guarantee you that's what you're going to end up with in December. You said it so well. So what would be a good book to get started on? Um, you know, uh, you're throwing me for a loop or you're trying to throw one out of my, out of my head, but it really depends <laughs> on, 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 where you want you want the practical side or do you want more of the uh, strategy and philosophical side? But um, I think a good book for salespeople would be um, uh, How I Rose from uh, Failure to Success in Sales by Frank Becker. He talks in there all about positivity and enthusiasm, even when he was in bad times. And so I think that's a very, very good one. But um, there's a lot of books on mindset. Uh, if you want to talk about mindset, you'll listen to people like Zig Ziglar, and uh, Anthony Robbins. I know some people have stigma with Anthony Robbins. That doesn't mean you have to follow us to everything he said, but he has a lot of great um, ideas in there about being in a good state and being positive. And uh, so, yeah, those are a few good books. Did you know Andy Neer has been using Top Roof Marketing for the commercial roofing division of his business for more than three years? If you're not happy with the results you're getting or haven't looked into all the ways out there to grow your commercial business, take a look at TopRoofMarketing.com. They can show you solid data to back up the proven strategies they use to get their clients more commercial business year after year. So any last words before we close this out? Yeah, I've had a lot of fun building this channel here on uh, on YouTube and uh, Facebook and some other places just to, to help encourage and get guys going. And so if, if you feel like you got value from this uh, channel or this video, actually, um, we're going to be doing some more impromptu videos like this, too, just to help guys get motivated, inspired to, to do greater things. And if, you, if you've got a lot of value out of this video, just hit the like button and we would be so honored if you'd subscribe and listen more. And um, that's really, really what helps give us mo uh, motivation to continue to do uh this awesome uh channel here so like and subscribe sounds good well thanks again for joining us you've been listening to the rocket roof show podcast be sure to subscribe through your favorite podcasting platforms such as itunes or google play to get the latest episodes as they are launched for more please follow us on social media or visit our website at rocketroofshow.com we look forward to joining you here again soon at the next launch.